In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to factorize quadratics. And all we mean by this is take a quadratic, like x squared plus 6x plus 8, and rewrite it as two brackets being multiplied together. So basically, each of these two brackets is a factor of the original quadratic, which is why we call it factorizing. Let's start by having a go at this one here for ourselves, where we need to factorize x squared plus 10x plus 16. The first thing we want to do is write out our two brackets with an x in each one. And we're going to try and factorize this quadratic into these two brackets. Now, some people will do these next steps entirely in their head. And if you're able to, then that's great. But there are a couple of problems with this. One is that if you make a mistake, then you won't get any marks for your workings. And second is that when it comes to more complicated quadratics, like you might get in your exams, you really need to have a system in place to slowly work through them. So here, we're going to go through each step one by one. The first step is to find all the factor pairs that multiply together to make the integer term which is just the term that doesn't have any x's. So in this case, the 16. So those factor pairs would be 1 and 16, 2 and 8, and 4 and 4. Because all of these pairs of numbers multiply together to make 16. And if I were you, I would actually write out all the factor pairs on your paper, like we have here. One thing to remember, though, is that because 16 is a positive number, we can also make it by multiplying the negative versions of these numbers together. So as well as these three positive factor pairs, we also need to list the negative factor pairs. So negative 1 times negative 16, negative 2 times negative 8, and negative 4 times negative 4. Once we've written out all of our factor pairs, our next job is to find which of these pairs of numbers we can add together to make the coefficient of our x term which in this case is the positive 10. Because this 10 is a positive number, we can tell straight away that we're going to be adding one of the positive factor pairs together. So we can ignore these negative ones. Next, it's just a process of trial and error to see which pair works. 1 plus 16 is 17, not 10. So we can cross that one out. 2 plus 8 is 10 though. So that's probably the one that we need. But just to double check, we should try the last one and do 4 plus 4, which is 8. So that's not correct, and we can cross that one out. The final step is then to put these numbers into the brackets. So because we know that the correct pair is positive 2 and positive 8, we just put plus 2 in one bracket and a plus 8 in the other one. And that's it. We've got our answer. If you want to be 100% sure that you've got the right answer, though, we can multiply these two brackets together, and they should equal our original quadratic. So for that, we'd do x times x, which is x squared, x times 8, which is 8x, 2 times x, which is 2x, and 2 times 8, which is 16. Then if we collect the like terms, we get x squared plus 10x plus 16 which is the same as our original quadratic, so we can be sure that we did everything correctly. If you're not very used to these, then this might all seem a bit long-winded. But basically, we're finding all the factor pairs of our integer term, and then seeing which of these pairs of numbers add together to make the number in front of the x term. And once you've done a few examples, they become a lot easier. Let's have a go at this one here as well, using the same technique. This time, we're trying to factorize x squared plus 5x minus 14. So just like before, the first thing we want to do is write out our pair of brackets with only an x in each. Next, we want to write out all the factor pairs of negative 14. And because negative 14 is a negative number, one of the factors in each pair has to be negative as well. 
meaning we could have positive 1 and negative 14, or negative 1 and positive 14, then positive 2 and negative 7, or negative 2 and positive 7. The next step is to find which of these factor pairs adds together to make our x coefficient, which in this case is positive 5. 1 plus negative 14 makes negative 13, so it's not going to be that one. Negative 1 add 14 makes 13, so not that one either. 2 plus negative 7 makes negative 5, so close but still no. But negative 2 plus 7 does make positive 5, so that's the one that we need. So because our factors are minus 2 and positive 7, we put take away 2 in one bracket and add 7 in the other one. And that's it, we factorised the quadratic. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.